are going to be given an, an equation or formula. And you're going to be asked to solve it for a different variable. So this would be a case you have this uh, conversion between degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit and you'll be asked to um, figure out uh, what would be this equation uh, if you were solving for C. Okay, so if you're doing this by hand and as usual I'll try to kind of go through the, the hand, the by hand method first and then we'll confirm it with the calculator. If you're doing this by hand, it, it should be no different than what we did in the last uh, sections. We take a, an equation. We, in order to solve for a variable, we isolate the variable terms first. Okay, so in this case, if we wanted to solve for C, we would undo the operations performed to the variable term C so that that's isolated. The 9 fifths C is left on the right side of the equation. We get F minus 32 moved over to the left side. Okay, once you isolate the terms, the variable terms, then you can completely uh, solve for that variable. And again, this is just following the, the kind of inverted order of the order of operations. So you add and subtract first to get your variable terms alone. Then you multiply and divide again just kind of working in the reverse order of operations. In this particular step if you are uh, looking to isolate your C value here you can either do that in two steps you can multiply both sides by 5 and then divide both sides by 9 or you can undo multiplying a fraction by multiplying by its what? Reciprocal. So if we just multiply both sides of this equation oops, by the reciprocal of 9 fifths so 5 ninths, do the same thing on the other side, 5 ninths. Here the 5's cancel and the 9's cancel, leaving our C value. And then you get your answer, 5 ninths times the quantity F minus 32. Okay, so when you're looking at this, um, depending on, on what is being asked, you might need to uh, distribute through so that you're not dealing with uh, the factors. And there's a couple different ways that you would possibly distribute this. One, you might say 5 ninths F minus, uh, then 5 times 30 is 150. 5 times 2 is 10. 150 plus 10 is 160 over 9. So this is one way that you might express your answer. Hey, or because your denominators are the same, it's also possible that you might express this as 5F minus 160 all over 9 is equal to C. And so be prepared to, to look at the different forms or to identify the different possible forms of this. Most likely what would happen online here is I would leave a space that looks like this. And so I'll, I'll build the fraction for you if, it's a, if there's a, a fraction that contains variables in either the numerator or denominator. And then you would just have to enter. So 5F minus 160 all over 9. Okay, now if you're using the calculator for this it's still pretty straightforward you just uh, type in your solve feature so the F2 algebra tab select solve type your equation just as it appears up here identify what you want to solve for so we would get solve in parentheses and I'm just going to use the same variable so F equals 9 fifths. I can put that 9 fifths in parentheses if I wanted to, but the calculator understands the process. Times C plus 32, and then identify what you want it to solve for. We want to solve for C. Close it off. And when you hit enter, it gives you, again, it gave, it, it gave me this form, except I did need to expand it um, by hand. So when you write your answer, uh, you're usually going to write answers without leaving factors unless it specifically tells you to factor something and so anytime you write your answer try to write it in the standard form which gets rid of any dis uh, distributive properties you distribute through you combine all your like terms and you write it with your variables first constants at the end alphabetical order if there's more than one variable